All right, so from what have been sent here, st stones bounces on water by Dilma. That is uh, what uh, Cindy sent. I tell you, today, today is just a day and a half. All right. So there is the picture. Cindy, if you're in, you can take over, but meanwhile, let me just go on. That is the stone bouncing on water and you can see it's bouncing three times. Bouncing three times, the way it was written in the text. So Cindy says, the next morning, the guest visited the schools and the health centers. After having lunch and because it was so hot outside, they sat under a tree and played card game. Simon the cook, because it was not yet cooking time, he decides to go for a walk to the pond and Tim, who is Winnie's cousin also, follows. The pond that people believed was haunted because of the incidents of drowning every year and there were ghosts in the water and murdered victims used to be thrown here. And this beautiful, she has given us a, a pond and somebody seated next to the pond. Again, I repeat, Cindy, if you're in, you just let me know. Tim took photographs of the surrounding of the pond. This also helped us wonder whether Tim was doing this the way Winnie accused him. So take note of every part, whether it is relating to who really killed Winnie. Simon joins Tim in the laughter when they say that Winnie will end up here in the pond. And uh, Cindy says that is for shadow. Very good. Simon shocks Tim that here, stones don't sink in the water, they bounce. And Cindy says, here we see the relevance of the title. And then Simon teaches Tim the trick on how you can throw a stone and it bounces on water and not sink until he's finally able to do it. Again, you keep wondering, why was, he, why was he so interested in getting to know how to throw the stone? And finally, he's able to do it. That night during supper, Tim tells everyone about the pond and that they can go there the next holiday compared to going to the ocean. Again, you wonder why is Tim very much interested in this pond? Winnie foreshadows that that is where they want to set a body. Yes, last way. Okay. Winnie foreshadows that that is where they want to deposit her body after killing her so as to acquire her riches and the chain of shopping malls. Yes, Oppo A54. Is it Cindy? Sure, it's me. Sure. That is you, Cindy. Sure. No, it's Sumaya. Sumaya. Oh, you know, you didn't enter with your name. <laughs> no, <laughs> so it's yeah. me, Sumaya. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You didn't enter with your name. You entered as Oppo A54. So I, so I was requesting if. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. Yes, I've been listening. Yes, mm -hmm. Sumaya, can you hear me? Yes, so sure, yes. I was saying, uh -huh. since I was doing this, since I was doing this thing, uh -huh. all right, uh, I don't know, something is not right with the um, network on your side, and uh, this Zoom will end within a very short time because it's the 40 minute Zoom. Maybe you can present after, after we are through with this one kindly, if you don't mind. So Maya, let's, let's finish this because it's already on the screen and it's just page six of three, and then you can go back again on the plot if that is fine. Can the rest hear me? Somebody unmute, or oh, you can, Sawa. So let me just read, this, yes. is, this is Cindy's presentation. So after she finishes and there's still time, Sumeya, thanks for changing. Now I'll give you time. So Winnie foreshadows that this is where they want to deposit her body after killing her so as to acquire her riches and the chain 
of, of shopping malls, very important to note. Peter, who is Winnie's husband, being angry, shot out of his chair and apologizes for Winnie's manners, for she's not usually like this. But we know that he's pretending because we always given the impression that uh, they were always quarreling. So it seems that Peter and Winnie had marital conflicts that needed to be publicized. Very important, note the word marital conflicts. Winnie says that Peter and Chelsea are having something behind her back. Note another word, secrets. Secrets, I hope somebody's writing very fast. Secrets. Winnie reprimands Tim for going with the cook to the pond, saying that he could poison her and then deposit her at the haunted pond. We don't know whether this is premonition because by the end of the book, it is up to you and I to decide who killed Winnie. But please note that she has premonition of her death. That night, Simon, who is also the narrator and also the 60 year old cook of the Paulsons, regret ever having stepped in that mansion and quickly retires. Kindly note the age of the narrator and look at the picture that Cindy sent us. <laughs> I don't know whether that is uh, Simon himself. I'm on page, sorry. Um, he tells the younger, the other younger cooks that is leaving, the other cook could not leave that job because they depended on that salary to pay bright price, except for the one who followed him, but they all left. This was because if anything were to happen to Winnie, it would be their faults as the cooks. The next morning, the next morning uh, at the cook's house, Joe arrives in Paulson's truck. And this is the truck, according to Cindy, this is beautiful. Joe, Meg's husband, informs Simon who knows Winnie is dead, that she's missing. She's missing and, uh, 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 this is word, that's why it's jumping. She's missing and yet the room that she was sleeping, the door and the windows were locked from the inside. This is supposed to be iron. But as you read the story carefully and the policeman starts showing us what's happening, you can tell that somebody manipulated those doors and windows. Simon and his son accompany him to the police to report the matter at the sub-county headquarters. And they did not find anybody in the offices, if you remember very well. Because the sergeant was not around, the porter took them to the sergeant's home, which was not very far away. And here is, according to Cindy, that is where the sergeant lived. They go to the sergeant, they go with the sergeant to Paulson's house and try finding Meg to entertain the remaining guests. Look at those houses, very well captured. And here is the sergeant that Cindy gave us. He was in gray uniform, he wore sunglasses. He looked like a Sierra Leone rebel on the cover of BBC's Focus on African magazine. Of course, it looks like this person is mocking, he's trying to mock the soldier that is looking better than he's supposed to look. <laughs> Sergeant Pascal Kivumbi, sub-county police commander, he says that, and of course they think he's bragging that he's being proud because there's no title like that. And boom, the investigators find Winnie's mother. And there is Winnie on the, finally, she's removed. Though this looks like an ocean, but they talked of a pond, but we can picture that. The question is who killed Winnie? And that was Cindy's presentation. So I'll stop sharing the screen. And Sumaya, now you can tell us something. Sumaya? Go ahead now. Okay, so, so I was just saying, like, I thought Cindy was doing the first four pages so that I could say the themes uh -huh. that I saw on the first pages. Uh -huh. I'm not sure, Cindy, which I was not sure that uh, the pages that Cindy was presenting. Oh, that is still fine. But meanwhile, Lavenda was to also do presentation. Lavenda, could you just read for us what you have? Yes. Go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. Storms Bounce on Water by Dilman Dila. Mm -hmm. So the characters are Meg, a native married to Joe Paulson. Mm -hmm. Joe Paulson makes husband, Winnie Hodge, Peter, Tim Collins, 
Chelsea Creole, Simon, or Peter who is the porter, mm -hmm. or Kelo is the guard, mm -hmm. Sergeant Pascal Kibumbi, John, and Simon and named Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, so Stones Bounce on Water is a story from Uganda mm -hmm. about the futility of betrayal and mistrust. It is built around the murder of Winnie Hodge, one of Paulson's visitors from London. So the story begins on a night lit by a full moon and the visitors enjoy the scenery since it's one they are not used to seeing in London. Mm -hmm. The conflict and Paulson in a firecracker that's forgotten on the lawn after a birthday party the day before goes off. It sets the stage for a foreboding that prepares the audience for Winnie's impending death. So still in the tense atmosphere, Winnie unknowingly sits on Meg's chair and takes up Meg's cup of tea, whose content had been discreetly mixed with a potent intoxicant by the cook with Simon. Winnie's suspicion of her mother by her close friends and family grows strong after picking the weird test in the tea. Mm -hmm. So she suspects that Joe and Meg want her dead in order to run the health and education charities in the country on their own. And that Chelsea wanted sole ownership of Gala, which are the chain of shopping malls they own, and Tim and Peter, who are her relatives, standing mm -hmm. to inherit her money. Mm -hmm. So Meg leaves, uh, Meg leaves for bed and Joe reveals that his wife's tea is laced with alcohol. Mm -hmm. This makes Winnie feel guilty for her behavior and she immediately asks for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Meg had been dragged into drinking due to the entire business of dealing with partners who did not trust her and her husband and the constant demands from her relatives who believed that she made money. Mm -hmm. Simon later leaves for his home, two miles from the Paulson mansion with his bicycle. His description of his house being luxurious is compared as compared to the other residents of the village, draws a picture of the magnitude of poverty and lack among the people in the village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next morning, the guests visit schools and health centers, have lunch at two o'clock, and all under a shady tree playing a card game in the lawn. Tim Collins abandons the card game to take a walk to the pond with Simon, leaving his colleagues in protest as he smiles awkwardly. Yeah, and that is the end from page 146 to 149. Very good. Page 146 to one. 49. And from what Lavender has given us, we come across poverty. Poverty, the way they describe the houses. Of course, we come up across marital conflicts. That was very good. And I also love the use of the word foreboding. Foreboding, which is an aspect of style. An aspect of style to show that something bad is expected to happen. That was good. Thank you, Lavenda. Uh, who's presenting from the next pages? Okay. If the person is not yet here and we still have a few more minutes, and I cannot tell how many more minutes we have, uh, then Sumaya, you can share one or two themes that you identified from whichever page, because we have all read the story anyway. So this is according to me. I guess I wasn't able to get uh, mm -hmm. some material from the online. I didn't get the like nice one. So I just decided to do it by myself. That is so, but then I'm not sure if... Uh -huh. I'm not sure if they're correct, but then <laughs> Go okay, ahead. the first theme that I got. Mm -hmm. Okay, theme of fear. Theme of fear. 
Fear, yes, yes. Correct? This, okay, this is shown. Okay, this is due to the due to Winnie's character. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first time when she drank drank uh, mug Meg Meg's tea and mm -hmm. she just weird. Mm -hmm. The test was weird. Some uh, the, the the friends of hers mm -hmm. wanted to kill her because mm -hmm. to control the company that she was. Mm -hmm. The other theme I got was a theme of marital conflict mm -hmm. it's between uh, Winnie and uh, Peter, the husband, the, Winnie and, and, and Peter. Mm -hmm. uh, this is shown when Winnie was saying that uh, she wanted to publicize mm -hmm. uh, his conflict, uh, her conflict between her and, and his husband and her husband. Mm -hmm. Okay, the conflict, the main conflict between uh, Winnie and Peter, it was due, okay, she was, she thought that Peter, I don't know if it's true that Peter and Chelsea were in a relationship, so, okay, she wasn't, uh, she wasn't uh, at peace mm -hmm. since she had, she thought, uh, she, was, she, uh, she had, she had doubt mm -hmm. about, about them being in a relationship, and yet, Peter is her husband. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other thing for theme of superstitious. Mm -hmm. Superstition. Superstition. Uh, mm -hmm. Superstition. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, it's about the pond where, mm -hmm. where people uh, believe that okay, people it was a taboo for people to go at that pond since they mm -hmm. believe that dead dead body was thrown on those on that pond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, theme of uh, kind of reunity when these people like the friends came, mm -hmm. came together at one place and watched the moonlight the moon uh, the moonlight was it a kind of theme of reunity reunion reunion yeah reunion yes yes uh -huh. theme of materialism Mat uh -huh. materialism, materialism uh, yes. this is so yeah, when the okay, all these people are after Winnie's wealth. Mm -hmm. When they like everyone uh, is trying to uh, is trying to harm mm -hmm. Winnie in order to the the wealth that she has, and mm -hmm. at last at the mm -hmm. last page is shown mm -hmm. a few months later, Tom and Peter disagreed on how to share and what they had acquired. So both of them, Peter split it, the wife mm -hmm. of. Uh, Winnie and and team split the the world too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And okay. as you're, as you're going on, we have nine minutes, forty nine seconds remaining. So just go on. Mm -hmm. Go on. Okay. There's a um. There's theme of betrayal. Mm -hmm. Okay. The husband betrays Winnie at first. Mm -hmm. The husband, the cousin too, the okay team also betrays Winnie because they, mm -hmm. okay according to me I guess, both the husband and team mm -hmm. were on the plan of seeing Winnie so mm -hmm. that they get the worth of so it's a betrayal. How yes. comes like your cousin, the person who you trust more, comes mm -hmm. to, I want to take over your wealth? Mm -hmm. Betrayal. Okay, yes. the team of. Mm -hmm. Okay, greed, mm -hmm. greed, mm -hmm. page 160. 160? 160. 162. Mm -hmm. Okay, the publicity has the Paulson's charity so much that it ceased all activity two years after Winnie's death. Mm -hmm. Now live mm -hmm. a quiet life in their position. They are, they, they are volunteers teacher at a local school. I don't work for them anymore. It's mm -hmm. it's just greed. Mm -hmm. Until they even uh, went to even, court. They even went to court over the wealth, you remember? Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's another okay. How Winnie's lawyer is fighting against wealth when okay, this is don't know it's a she or a he. Okay. Uh -huh. Air force to prevent Tim, Peter, and Chelsea from inheriting her money and mm -hmm. gala, but after mm -hmm. the trial, there was no reason why they couldn't. So there's, there's, I guess, 
-hmm. both team the team we uh team peter mm -hmm. and the other murderers those who are planning for wealth i guess it's due to their wealth that they mm -hmm. won the case i guess if they yeah. have the wealth they won't be able to win the case you are very right. You are very, very right. And that brings out the aspect of suspense. But before we continue, Lasue is asking whether she makes another meeting we continue. What do we think? She has sent a text. It's okay. Uh, this one will go off in the next um, about six minutes. So she can make another one. Eh? So when it, when, we, when it go off, I hope she'll now send us a link. If she doesn't, you just type in the, the password. I might delay to enter because uh, it will be processing the recording, but I'll enter. Okay, uh-huh. Go on. Okay, the, the other theme, uh -huh. hypocrisy. Uh-huh, hypocrisy. Imagine the I was meaning, thinking of that, uh-huh. Okay, the meaning of hypocrisy is this, okay, it's a pretense, pretense of holding mm -hmm. belief feelings mm -hmm. or opinion that is not actually possess. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is shown page on page 152 mm -hmm. when he said okay okay start it start at peter mm -hmm. winnie his when when i die the police the police will question you first you mm -hmm. won't mention that they we quarrel every day will you you won't mention that we quarrel every time. We go to bed, so I better publicize it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hypocrisy. Uh -huh. Another another hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's between. Okay, this illustration now clearly indicates that Peter is cheating mm -hmm. on Winnie with mm -hmm. Chelsea when she mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. I'm "Out of his." Okay, Peter shot out of his chair banging. Mm -hmm. Okay, his feet on the table at the same time, he upset mm -hmm. the class. You won't mm -hmm. set up me. You are cheating on me with Chelsea. Mm -hmm. This is what when okay, when he's trying to get the truth about the relationship between Chelsea mm -hmm. and Peter. Mm -hmm. one. And let me ask, at the end, yeah. did Peter and Win and the Chelsea get married? Yeah. So it seems that she had the premonition also, eh? She had a pre-, pre I became from- She, she was suspecting, eh? Mm -hmm. I, I, when she said, okay, this is being, okay, it's uh, evidence when he said, okay, he says, I became firmly convinced on this last night after mm -hmm. BBC Radio reported that Peter had married Chelsea, Tim mm -hmm. was the best man. Imagine, betrayal. Huh? Betrayal. Mm -hmm. Okay, the theme of murder. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, when we, okay at the, okay at almost the last okay the last last episode when Winnie is being Winnie is found dead after she's mm -hmm. being killed by her friends for their own selfish gain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you can put it stroke murder, stroke death, because yeah. we also have. The other people who are mentioned who had been whose bodies had been thrown in the pool. So when you're looking at the dead yes. people, it's Winnie plus the other people whose bodies had been found at the pool. Mm -hmm. So can we say this theme of modernity? Modernity. Why? Uh when okay, I page I saw it in page 149. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I guess it's Simon who was living, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. Simon's house, eh? Uh, Simon was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and with the modernity, before you get that point, there's also poverty. Had you mentioned poverty? No. Oh, poverty. When, when they're yeah. going home and they show us where the other soldiers were living, even when they show us where yeah. the sergeant is living, his house shows lots of poverty. Mm -hmm. okay, there's also a theme of change. Mm -hmm. And the, the uh, Winnie's company, the, okay, mm -hmm. the charity she talk about work to improve the health and education mm -hmm. facilities in our country. Mm 
So there's like reformation or let's say kind of reformation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. New schools and says for long we had suspected that for yeah, that the, the part when it's when it says that the charity she talked about work to improve the health and education facilities in our country. Very true. And isn't it irony that she's killed when she's doing the right thing by the people who are closest to her? Yes, mm -hmm. it is an irony. Mm -hmm. We have two minutes. Uh -huh. I guess the only theme that I came. Wow, that is beautiful. Anybody else who has seen a theme you can mention? Maybe you read and you saw a theme, please just unmute. Okay, the theme of modernity and then the theme of charity. Charity, what you have mentioned under reformation and uh, change is also under what we can call charity, helping philanthropy, fee, philanthropy. How do you spell that philanthropy? Yamal, P-H, philanthropy, I'm trying to write it. It's a theme, philanthropy. That is when people come and do their best in a place where or which looks poor or poverty stricken to help the people so that they can they can uh, change their lifestyles and um, one more i don't know what we can call it where these people come to enjoy holiday in in kenya and they think they'll come again if somebody has a word for it uh, you can share so that we pick it up and uh, we have one minute. So let me ask, when we come back, what will we be handling? Who is here, who is handling another part so that we know whether we need to come back or not? It's less than one minute. Anybody who is here who is going to share something? Oh, last we had not shared. Fine, last way, we thank you for this. So when it goes off, you can set another one. I hope people will still come in. I'm, I'm setting another one right now. Right now, sour, sour. If I delay, don't worry, okay. because this one has to convert first. So where's the recording?